Today we're going to look at the four different operations that you can do with integers. So we're going to do adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. We will start with adding because that's easier. So um, the rules for adding, if the signs are the same, so if they're both positive, then my answer is just going to be positive. Okay, if both numbers are negative integers, so negative 4 plus negative 5, then I'm just going to add them and the answer is going to be negative. So this would be negative 9. If they are op like different integers, so if I have positive 4 plus a negative 5, okay, what we're going to do now is we are actually going to subtract the numbers. So four, 5 minus 4 is 1. And then for my sign, I'm going to use the sign of the number that has the bigger absolute value, which in this case would be negative 5 because the absolute value would be 5. So I'm going to use the negative sign. So 4 plus negative 5 would be negative 1. If I had negative 3 plus 7, well, so I'm going to subtract 7 minus 3 is 4. Because 7 has a bigger absolute value, I keep my positive sign. So same signs, you add and keep. Different signs, you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger absolute value. For subtraction, we are going to follow our rule of keep it, change it, opposite. Keep it, change it, opposite it. So if I have 6 minus, and we, I'm just going to do an easy one for right now, 6 minus 5, I would keep the first number, change the second number, and then, or change the sign to addition and then change the second number to its opposite, which would be negative 5. So now I have 6 plus negative 5. I'm going to follow my addition rules. Signs are different, so I'm going to subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1, and then the positive is bigger, so the answer would be 1. So for a little bit more challenging of 1, if I have 5 minus negative 7, so I'm going to keep it, change it, opposite it, so negative 7 will become positive 7. So 5 plus positive 7 is going to be 12. I could also do this when I have a bigger number or a smaller number, and then I'm trying to subtract a bigger number from it. So if I have 3 minus 8, keep it, change it, opposite the, negative, the positive 8 to a negative 8. Now I'm going to subtract 8 minus 3 because the signs are different. 8 minus 3 is 5. And then negative 8 has the bigger absolute value, so my answer would be negative 5. For multiplication and division, um, what's kind of nice about this is the rules are the same for multiply and divide. So multiply and divide, we think of the movies, okay? If the signs are the same, so same sign, it's going to be a positive answer. If the signs are different, it's going to be a negative answer. And that, other than that, you just do what you would normally do. So if I have 5 times 8, that's going to be 40. If I have negative 5 times negative 8, that's also going to be 40. Okay. If I have negative 5 times positive 8, that would be negative 40. And if I have 5 times negative 8, that would be negative 40. So same signs, positive answer, different signs, negative answer. And the same is true with division. If I had, uh, let's do something easy, negative 70 divided by positive 10, that would be a negative 7. If I had positive 70 divided by a negative 10, that would be a negative 7. If I had a 70 divided by positive 70 divided by positive 10, that's a positive 7. And if I have a negative 70 divided by a negative 10, that's also a positive 7. So those are your rules for integer operations.